The House Select Committee wrapped up its third day of evidence producing what happened on January 6th and Trump's potential involvement in that insurrection. Um, specifically how after Mike Pence finally stood up to him, he decided to direct his foot soldiers in ire and his anger directly at his vice president. Um, here's a bit of what they showed that day. Did John Eastman ever admit, or as you know, in front of the president that his proposal would violate the Electoral Count Act? Uh, I believe he did on the 4th. That was January 4th, two days before the attack on Congress. And Mike Pence, I hope you're going to stand up for the good of our Constitution and for the good of our country. And if you're not, I'm going to be very disappointed in you, I will tell you right now. I'm telling you what, I'm hearing the Pence. I hear the Pence just caved. No. Is that true? I didn't I'm hear hearing, I'm hearing no. reports that Pence caved. No. I'm telling you, if Pence caved, we're going to drag through the streets. You politicians are going to get drugged through the streets. Yes. I guess the hope is that there's such a show of force here that Pence will decide to just do the right show. thing, according to Trump. The evidence was pretty damning. In fact, it was pretty so damning that Donald Trump decided to take the truth social to try and dispel it some more. Uh, he says this, the fake news networks are perpetuating lies, falsehoods, and Russia, Russia, Russia type disinformation. Same sick people, here we go again. By allowing the low rated but nevertheless one sided and slanderous unselect committee hearings go endlessly and aimlessly on and on and on. It's a one sided, highly partisan witch hunt the likes of which has never been seen in Congress before. Therefore, I'm hereby, hereby demanding equal time to spill out the massive voter fraud and dim security breach. He followed that up with uh, one more um, uh, one more repetitive truth here. It says, I demand equal time. <laughs> Calm down, bro. <laughs> Calm down, kid. Uh, so anyway, he, uh, by the way, this isn't the first time he's gotten mad about the select committee's uh, evidence that they've been showing. After the second day, he went and uh, put forth this 12 page tirade uh, and the former president repeated a number of long dismissed conspiracy theories regarding the, the results of the last election, as well as the more recent ones regarding harvested and stuffed ballots. Discussed in Dinesh D'Souza's documentary, 2000 Mules. Yeah, okay. uh, also this though, the, uh, he says also this, the, the unselect pseudo committee has coordinated with their media puppets to broadcast their witnesses on national television without any opposition, cross examination or rebuttal evidence. He's very upset about this entire thing. Uh, but uh, um, hmm. I wanna go to the equal time stuff, but first let's go to this, uh, your reactions to this. Okay, so, um, so let's, let's get a couple of things right here. Uh, first of all, this is great news. Why? Uh, because you can have equal time if you testify. Problem solved. In fact, it'll be in the same exact forum, same exact channels, and you'll get to be the star. In fact, I bet they give you just as much time as all of the other witnesses combined. You demanded equal time, you got it, genius. Genius move, Donald. Come on, come on up to the Congress. Oh, what, you don't want to? Then what are you crying about? Like a child, I mean, we're all bold. I demand equal time from who? You yell into the abyss. <laughs> equal time from who? They're doing congressional hearings. You could have equal time all you want if you go to the congressional hearings. I don't want to go to the congressional hearings. I demand equal time from the Easter Bunny. <laughs> what, what are you talking about, man? What, 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 what lunatic ravings are you doing now? So I guess he means in his crazy mind that the TV stations are just gonna randomly go, all right, now to give equal time. By the way, you're stuck in the 1970s, man. Every stereotype, right? Like when he goes to the racist stuff, he's like, oh, you know, Puerto Ricans, you know, they're lazy. You're like, oh, Jesus Christ, right? Oh, he's in a room with a Jewish Republicans. He's like, no room likes to renegotiate more than you guys. Like it's every one of these, right? And so, uh, on this stuff, he's, he thinks that there's still the old law that Reagan got rid of in 1980s, that where you had to give equal time to each candidate. There's no such law, man. The Republicans, by the way, hate that law. That's what allowed, once they got rid of that, they got Rush Limbaugh and talk radio and Fox News, etc. right? That law doesn't even exist. So, but he's like, oh, don't do many, oh, get all the TV stations, give me all their time. Under what capitalist theory is that? Like, where do you get, 
Like you guys believe in capitalism and you're gonna what? Appropriate the the airwaves from these private corporations? What are you talking about, you moron? But my favorite part. I am hereby demanding equal time to spell out the massive voter fraud, etc. The hereby. As if that makes it official. <laughs> Love, oh, I hereby demand it. Oh, I didn't know that, dog. It changes okay. Everything. First of all, you're not the president anymore. Second of all, just saying the word hereby doesn't make it any more official. Okay. But I bet you he thinks that. No, no, I said hereby. I hereby demand it. Oh, okay. Yeah, and you know, also as you pointed out, not only does he have the opportunity to testify, but up leading up to this, he lost 60 court cases where he had the opportunity to prove that there was some type of voter fraud going on. And dozens and dozens of times he lost those cases. He started several social media platforms, one of which he went on this raid on. And he's still one of the most popular figures in the Republican Party, still the most likely to win the nomination if he doesn't go to jail, which no one's holding their breath about. So it's like this guy, he's, he's so stupid, it's like difficult to believe. It, 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 it hereby, all, yeah. Now, now it's official because he uses hereby. But it's like, dude, you've had all the opportunity in the world to have equal time, and you've lost at every corner. So uh, Trump was upset about what was going on in those hearings. Uh, let's jump to uh, to SOT three, you guys, because Rudy Giuliani had to answer a couple questions about what he has been exposed to have been doing during these hearings. Uh, he was asked about it, and he had no interest in answering. What? Uh, Eric Hirschman just testified before the once January 6th committee that you told him that Pence did not have the authority to uh, block certification of the election. Is that true? I, I, uh, I shouldn't really talk about that. The, I, uh, but, but did uh, you tell The rules that I had with the committee was that my uh, uh, answering question that would be confidential. Now, the committee leaked because the committee is an irresponsible- well, This was Eric Hirschman saying this. Well, Eric can do what he wants, but uh, the reality is I do not comment on the testimony I gave to them, except to say- Well, I'm asking you about his testimony. Well, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna comment on his testimony. I'm gonna tell you that the committee is a witch hunt. So are you Looking accusing Eric of Hirschman people. of lying under oath? I'm not accusing Eric Hirschman of anything. I'm not commenting on Eric Hirschman. I am talking about. I am talking about the committee. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, you know they're transmogrifying into actual villains. He looks like the Penguin. Like <laughs> he looks just like the Penguin. It's amazing, right? And here we were thinking that uh, you know America, that Republicans were against trans. <laughs> They're just transing, <laughs> transitioning to something else completely, like <laughs> villains out of comic books. It totally <laughs> does. I don't want to talk about Eric Hirschman. I want to talk about Russia, Russia, Russia. Mm. Okay. By the way, later in that press conference, he talked about Russia, 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 and Trump said the same thing. What are they doing? These hearings have nothing to do with Russia. Nothing. Zero. Russia's never been brought up. But you know what? If they keep repeating it. Soon there'll be a poll out that says 25% of Republicans think that the hearings are about Russia. 100%. Then they'll do another poll and 59% of Republicans will think it's about Russia. And by the end, 75% of Republicans will think that the hearings are about Russia when the word Russia has never been said in the hearings. Yep, 100%, and that's exactly why they're doing it. But you know, the funniest thing about this whole thing is it's like throughout this whole tenure, their narrative is that they're 100% victims at every single point, as if thousands of people storming the Capitol and all the evidence of people's involvement. It's just a normal Tuesday. Like that, that happens all the time. What are we even talking about? But definitely, I think that there's there's blood in the water for sure in terms of people are going to be, I, I think, at least more openly willing to primary Trump uh, in 2024. Because I think that these hearings are really just, I mean, not like everything else he's ever done doesn't make him look bad. But I think as we get closer to 2024, there's a good chance that other people are going to jump in. Well, no, other people will jump in. You're right about that, Jackson. But man, I have no idea what's going to happen in the Republican primaries in 2024. Uh, yeah. Trump could easily win, or maybe somebody like DeSantis takes him out. But I, no one should take for granted that he is not going to win. Because the Republican Party, the voters themselves, don't mind anything. They don't mind nope. lies, they don't mind the riot. In fact, what is it? Another poll came out of 59% saying that, uh, of Republicans saying that Trump did absolutely nothing wrong on January 6th. Not a single thing. So, 
You sure they won't um, make him the nominee again? I'm not at all sure. Uh, so, and and are you sure that the Republican voters minded the riot or the coup attempt? I don't think they minded it at all. Uh, so, God help us.